morning, Vipers, and welcome to the Friday Morning Update. I'm Lucas Oaks Messick, and here are this morning's top stories. Verano Book Club's last meeting is in the library on Monday, May 9th. Bring your favorite book to share, but please, no dank memes. The Spring Dance Concert is tonight at 7, $5 admission. Hey, it's not Black Swan, but I mean, it's something. Your book signing party will be on Wednesday, May 11th, right after school. Come support the finalized product that has a picture of you that you will definitely not want to remember. That's all we have for this week's edition of the Friday Morning Update. I'm Lucas Oaks Messick, signing off. And be sure to stay tuned for the Senior Weekly Show up next. Cut, cut, that's, that's not good. We have to retake, retake. Yeah, I'm not doing this again. Dude, Lucas, where are you going? I'm so done. I guess just being with my friends all the time and just like I was actually excited to come to school just because I had my friends. I had like sports too and just just being with them all the time was just it made it really fun. When our football team made it further in playoffs than we've ever made it before and it was really fun to go to those games and experience that. Verado has shaped me by kind of showing me what kind of stuff I like and I've met my best friends and throughout high school and stuff so I've met a lot of cool people and I've just kind of learned a lot about myself and stuff, about what I want to do with my life, and I just felt like I've learned a lot through high school. 
Prado has shaped me by, um, I don't try to be someone I'm not. I don't try too hard to be different, I'm just myself, and I learned that through my high school years coming here. Brian would shape me for the future and kind of like dealing with different things and dealing with different types of people that are different from myself and like interacting with others. Not everything is just going to be handed to you and not everything's going to be so easy in the future. Things are going to get more difficult, but Verado has really helped me to like get into those, that mindset. Uh, Verado has shaped me uh, to be unique. Uh, I'm not afraid to stand out among the crowd. I portray my passions and I'm not afraid to, I'm not afraid to be myself. Now I'm not afraid to um, speak up or speak my mind because I know that I'm important to myself and that um, it's okay to be unique and um, be your own person. One Verado to me just kind of means one of a kind. Um, you know, there's, we don't have a fourth wall in our classroom and everyone, you know, is together as one, you know, and it's a really laid back vibe here and it's just different, it's just one of a kind to me. Like, um, you can just literally walk into someone else's classroom and say hi, you know, it's just like all about being together and trying our best to be one. One Verado means, you know, we all have our cliques that we hang out with, but in the end, like, everybody mixes groups so much that it's just like all one big clique. Um, one Verado means to me, to me that everyone in school can do, like, their own thing and do something different, but at the end of the day, we're still one school, and I think um, a lot of us are really supportive of each other, whether you're on a sports team or in a club, and we just, you know, we have each other's back.
Let it go. Let it roll right off your shoulder, don't you know? The hardest part is over. Let it in. Let your clarity define you in the end. We will only just remember how it feels. Our lives are made. Turns of.